I think it's an important conversation to be had about why the workplace is having such a hard time adapting to working moms. So you mentioned one theory in passing that it may be that it's such a discrete period of time in some people's lives, not everyone's life, where they're having young kids, that it's easy to just move past it and maybe your PTSD diminishes over time. Yeah. And so even those women who've gone through it may not be in the moment realizing how important it is. But it is also true that we both work in very male-dominated industries where the visibility around it may be different. What else Mm -hmm. do you think might be going on? Do you think there's something around the way we're teaching women that they have to do everything and be everything and just work harder, run faster? Or do you think it's really just a, a workplace naivete thing? If we educate people, they'll understand. Yeah, that's a great question. I think there's so many different factors that contribute to the challenges in being a working mother. So some of them, I think, stem from just pure, like you said, the naivete and just lack of understanding of what some of those challenges are. And I say this fully knowing that for many man- managers and leaders, that the they have the right intentions, that they want to support their employees. And in fact, working mothers make for some of the best leaders in organizations. And there is data and research to prove that. So you want to retain them. Tell me a little bit more about the data. Tell me what, what, what drives that. Yeah. So it was Bright Horizons that put out a study last year that showed that employees feel that working mothers make for some of the best leaders in the workplace. They're more empathetic. They're good listeners. They're good team builders. And I know many working mothers who just people adore working with them. And I think there's also some sense of the hard skills of being able to prioritize, being able to communicate things efficiently and concisely. And we use this both at home and at work. So having that dual identity is very powerful. And so I think a lot of people leaders recognize that too. And they want to engage and retain their working parent, working mother population. But for whatever reason, sometimes there's a disconnect there and we fall short. And I think part of that is just a better need to educate and build an understanding of what some of those challenge challenges may be, developing that level of empathy as a people leader to be able to equip your team members with the right supports, the right tools to be able to successfully navigate both career and home. And there's many examples, I think, of companies that are starting to recognize this and providing the right supports to working parents to help them thrive. Hi, I hope you loved this little excerpt of Storked, the podcast where we talk about all things family building and families. This was a little taste of the bigger episode. We call it a Storked Munchkin. If you love what you heard, I highly encourage you to check out the full episode wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also find it on the Storked website at storkdpodcast.com. If you're in the process of building your own family or exploring what family means to you and you want to stay up to date on all relevant topics related to family building. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. It's called Let's Start a Family and it is found on Substack. Happy listening.